My name is Kwesi Edu Amankwa, and I'm General Secretary of the African Regional Organization of the International Trade Union Confederation. We represent over 17 million workers in Africa from 50 of the 54 countries on the continent. And it is therefore on behalf of these 17 million members that I bring you this solidarity message on this very important and historic protest that you are staging. Comrades, your gathering and protest today is of a very important kind, not only for your members, but also for all workers and workplaces, and for us, also for our communities. This is because all of us as unionists passionately dream and work to make the world a better place. This protest is therefore a stand for justice for our members, for our people, and for our communities. It is equally important never to forget that the right to strike is a right that is derived from the right to associate. You cannot have one and be denied the other. For us African workers, we hold and regard the right to association as a cornerstone of civil liberties, in the absence of which all other rights will suffer. Thus, comrades, if we associate and organize, it will be meaningless and patently immoral if we cannot use the strength of our unity, the strength of our collective voice, and the strength of our members to push for our rights and interests in the face of the imbalance of power relations in the workplace. Once we, we associate together, it means we should be able to act also as one. Besides, strike is not a luxury or fancy for workers that workers indulge in. The fact is that workers are always forced to go on strike and that wherever it is possible for workers to avoid strike, we do so. We resort to strike because in the face of oppression and unreasonableness on the part of employers and businesses, strike is a ready tool for our protection. Strike actions help us from being at the mercy of corporations and employers who are overzealous in their quest for profits and who express no regrets at all about the deteriorating working conditions of workers. One of the concerns we are witnessing on a global scale today is a practice where politicians and political parties are giving more and more concessions and privileges to businesses, to the detriment of their constituents and constituencies. This is certainly wrong and unacceptable. It is something that must stop and it is our moral duty to resist it. This preference for businesses and employers by our politicians over their constituents and constituencies is also manifesting in the renewed onslaught on the right of workers to hold labor in protest against real injustices. We are profoundly concerned today about the loud silence of our governments to this development. Indeed, the silence of our governments in the face of this attack makes it clear that our governments are abandoning their constituencies and constituents. It is therefore in this regard that we in ITUC Africa salute the courage of our 300 comrades in Spain who have refused to simply roll over in the face of oppression and the threats to their rights by striking to resist. African workers indeed stand with them because we know their struggle is our struggle. We reject and denounce a system that will criminalize 
a progressive and moral action, such as the one carried out by our 300 comrades. I would like to make it known, without any doubt, that their persecution is immoral and should be stopped forthwith. Finally, comrades, I'd like to remind us that in the words of Nelson Mandela, who grew to become a global icon, when people are determined, they can overcome anything. And therefore, we in Africa say to you, let us continue to demand our rights to association and also to demand that our rights to strike are respected. Let us continue to demand that our 300 comrades are acquitted and discharged unconditionally. A people united can never be defeated. Hands off our right to strike justice for our 300 comrades now. Amanda.